One of the most compelling things that people talk about object storage is, is that it's less expensive than the alternative, right? And the, one of the reasons for that is that it's most of them are built on commodity hardware, right? So we're able to just uh, use less expensive disk than the dedupe arrays are using, um, and and th this idea of building on on um, you know commercial off-the-shelf hardware. Uh, it, it is one of the big reasons. And then the other is the no dupe tax. So if you buy 10 terabytes of disk, you you get 10 terabytes of disk, right? If you're going to do that, you're, you're going you're gonna to pay for what you get. You're going to pay less uh, for what you get. What do you think, Doug? I'm sure you and have lots to talk about why objects are. Uh, I, ha I have a ton. <laughs> and, and so, but at, at a high level, you know, we're also looking at the durability and the availability. So, you know, as we see disks get bigger, so there are 10 terabyte disks out today. I just saw an announcement that Seagate's ahead of the, the schedule. You know, I, it was on the register with um, the Hammer technology. So in 2018, they're going to have a heat-assisted write drive. Um, you know, the I believe Black Backblaze just released their newest quarterly report, and you've got certain drives that are in the, again, you know, 8, 6 terabyte range that have a 10% failure rate that they're showing other ones down around 1, 2, 3. The time it takes to rebuild data when you're talking about, you know, terabytes, a 10 terabyte drive is days. And so when you start looking at other disk-based solutions where they've got their taxes, their fees, and then they, they've got these big disks, and you start to go, well, maybe I don't need a RAID 10. I, I need three copies. I need a RAID 10, but I'm not mirroring disks. I'm doing a triple mirror. You know, the fees just go up and up. As these disks become less expensive, the ability to protect your data and keep it protected um, grows with it. And I think object storage is the key to that petabyte scale that we're all getting to. I, I certainly remember in the past installing a hard drive, you know, Back, back when I was in college, and it had like 400 megs, and somebody would ask, what am I going to do with all that data? And I'm like, I don't know. You'll never fill that. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and now it seems ridiculous, right, to, to have said something like that. Yeah. I, can, I can record a quick video and put it on YouTube that, that's bigger than that. And so um, I don't see us going anywhere but up, both in capacities and the desire of, of um, users to consume that data.